You're all one step closer to that hundred grand, the write-up in Inked Magazine, and most importantly, the title of Ink Master. This week, we're testing your technical precision. As always, we begin with the flash challenge. The winner will get first pick of the human canvas with the elimination tattoo. In this flash challenge, you'll be applying one of the most popular designs to your canvas, a beveled star. It sounds kind of easy, right? Not necessarily. Each one of your clients wants their star on either their knee or on their elbow. Lord have mercy. It's really hard to get a bevel star on a kneecap or an elbow. Basically, the skin is very calloused, so it's gonna be really hard to get the points really, really tight on some crazy skin. Your star must be smooth with tight lines and a clear symmetrical design. Not only is the skin calloused and possibly scarred from just, you know, years of abuse, but you're dealing with a warping area of skin that's constantly stretching. Technical precision in this challenge means putting very straight, perfect lines on very rounded objects. Basically, knees and elbows have peaks and they have valleys. Trying to do straight lines through both of those are very hard to do. Ah, gee, that's tricky. Let me redo it. A knee, it's just really, really hard to do a straight line on. I don't like that. I don't know if I should do it bigger or smaller. I'm so freaking out. My elbows aren't that bad, though. <laughs> no, your elbows are bad. <laughs> They're bad. They're not going to be fun to tattoo. They're really wrinkly. My head is in it. I have the mindset to win. I feel like I'm in it right now. This is something I can knock out of the park. You know, you're dealing with straight lines. And for start, it's going to be obvious if it's not straight. Competition's heating up. We're just trying to figure out where the next weak leak is. Hopefully, somebody's going to stumble. Starting to feel like a knee now. I'm feeling like a knee. One hour left. If you get shaky, you got to let me know if I don't want to make a mistake here. If your arm moves down, you know, like I'll be all. Boy, I got a bad elbow. <laughs> He's a wrinkly boy. I picked this bright ass green to really show the contrast between the two bevels, the black and green. Sometimes that green takes a little time to start popping. It's gonna be hard to knock Shane off his throne. It's gonna be a large undertaking to surpass him. Man, you cannot get that green to stick in a door. One chink in the armor, who knows? I'm a hot mess. I'm hoping that everybody else drops the ball. Final five. We're in a time constraint, so I'm doing uh, the best I can. It's time. Put your machines down. Step away from the canvases. All right, guys. Don't forget we're judging on straight lines, solid color, and symmetry. Tommy, let's take a look at your work first. Nice and solid, straight outline. It's a really light color. Yeah, I kind of think that wish was a little more vibrant. Hi, Heather. Hi. Let's uh, take a look. I do feel like the line is slightly a little thick. Just a choice I made aesthetically. Maybe a little bit pointier in the center. It's a little bit wide where the stars line up. I'm getting pretty exasperated. My work just seems to go unnoticed. It'd be nice to win something for once. And how you doing, Shane? Good, man. Did you pick that color? I gave her a few bright yeah. colors. They asked her which one she liked the best. Yeah. The color, I was hoping it'd be a little more vibrant. I'm hoping it'll brighten up with time. He was struggling with the color. It's one of his weakest flash challenges for him. This is a competition, so the more bad tattoos I see, the better it means for me. And James, let's take a look at the star. You have like a big field of red and then like a sharp drop right to the skin, stopping right at the line. I don't, it doesn't really look intentional. Josh. It fits his arm really well, fits nice and squarely on there. And the color looks nice and even throughout. Yeah, looks it looks good. even. The skin doesn't look traumatized. The outline's perfectly straight. What's up, Billy? Dan got his knee done. Let's take a look. It's weird, it's kind of brown. It actually goes from, uh, like a burgundy out to, that's actually lipstick red, but. Nah, it looks brown. 
Now, Leah. I think it's super bright and solid. If anything, it could have gone just a little lower. We put it lower before the stencil, and it looked kind of like a starfish. That's why we put it higher, so it looked more like a, like a star. I don't think her lines were as clean as they could have been. The ends of the stars were not very crisp. They kind of came off to a rounded point. So for this flash challenge, we tested your technical precision skills by seeing how well you tattooed a simple beveled star on a difficult place. There is one artist who stood out. And that one is Josh. How quickly the tide turned. Look at that. That was the goal. So flash challenge win number two. I'm super stoked. Now they're going to have a hard time trying to eliminate me. In this week's elimination tattoo, you'll be inking a style that many cultures consider sacred, tribal. Definition of a clean tribal tattoo would have to be clean lines, saturated, large area of black. Throughout history, the tribal tattoo has been very important. They were used to identify the enemy in war, as symbols of marriage, and to establish a status within the tribe. You'll be creating a tattoo that incorporates your own personal style, as well as traditional tribal elements. Shane. My canvas has like nice white skin, so black's gonna really look good on it. Let me see the area you're talking about, and what's your... Uh, about up here. What do you got with the, uh, what's all the irritation from? Um, I have psoriasis. Have you gotten a tattoo when, it, when it's been this flared up? No, it's usually not. I'm just concerned, like, trying to heal it over the next four or five days while it's flared up. I don't know what's going to happen when I start tearing into his skin. I'm just against the wall. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Good. He's got a little psoriasis here I'm just concerned about. With psoriasis, your body's pushing blood to the surface and white blood cells trying to heal it. Medically, it'll take about four to five times longer to heal and you're more susceptible to infection. I'm really sorry, man, but I don't, I don't think that we can let you do this. Okay. We appreciate you being here. Oh, that's great. And uh, I understand. that leaves you without a canvas. Yeah. No backup. I'm one of the good competitors on this show. Am I getting screwed like that fast? I don't know. I mean, how do you feel about getting tattooed? Uh, yeah? You could do that. So I'm the victim. Because it could be unfair to the game, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to step back and let the boys do the judging. How long have you been doing this? Uh, 14 years. If he messes me up, I'm throwing him a beat. I don't want anything solid, okay. because being on the knee, it's gonna fade out, and I don't wanna have to get a touch up. Yeah, no problem. We're doing like a tribal skull, and incorporating some light, fancy line work in there, too. That's a good one. The location I picked wasn't the brightest on my side. The last time I got my knee tattooed was about five years ago, long enough to forget about the pain. Outline's done, huh? Yeah. Do you want me to shade inside so they look like deeper cavern-like? Highlight the flames as the teeth and the eyes, then bring in the pentacle. Yeah, I'm worried because Tun didn't want me to do anything bold in there. So now I feel like it's kind of it's kind of weak looking. If we filled it in, I think it'd be too much, don't you? It probably would overpower a little bit, yeah. yeah. Welcome, guys, to another elimination round. For this week's elimination tattoo, we asked you to create a tribal tattoo that incorporates your own personal style. All right, Shane. How'd it go a ton, man? He's a little intimidating, but. We can tell you didn't go over and over these lines to make sure they were smooth. I'm not saying every line on here was one pass, but wherever you stopped and started is pretty seamless. You laid lines down and you took it home. Thanks, man. This week, we're testing your use of value. The degree of lightness and darkness in your tattoo. Value is being able to show dark to light with smooth transitions, basic tattooing 101. For this flash challenge, we have a special group of canvases for you. Each of today's canvases has suffered a severe injury. Wow. You will have to transform their gnarly scars into phenomenal tattoos. The hardest part about working with scars is that you're not tattooing regular skin that is smooth. 
you could break the skin, traumatize it more. It's tough. Scars are often extremely sensitive. Because they have excess collagen, they don't hold ink as well as undamaged skin. So it's even more challenging to smoothly transition from dark to light values. And Joe had a knee surgery for a baseball injury. Tattoo baby? Right here. Scar be gone. Tattooing the kneecap's one of the most difficult areas to work with because it's a very bumpy, sensitive, yet rough skinned area. I just gotta go in and rock this with confidence. Tattoo baby. As far as value goes, you have a very good range of dark black underneath the crest of the wing fading out into the feathers. A lot of good different color values throughout this tattoo from the beak to the head to the neck to the tuft around the shoulders. For this flash challenge, we asked you to transform scars into phenomenal tattoos. Some of you succeeded. Tattoo baby. You really showed rich tones and nice fades, and you did a really good job putting it on a knee, which is already a difficult area. The judges have decided. The winner of today's flash challenge is... Tattoo Baby. I feel like I needed this. I am so excited. This week, we're testing ingenuity. Ingenuity in a tattoo is using a design in a creative way to work well on the body and be visually appealing. Today, you must find a unique way to use your canvas's anatomy to make your tattoo come to life. What? What does that mean? From armpits to belly buttons to a fist or a foot, you must work with the shape and movement of that body part to create an illusion. Like, seriously? <gasps> I'm here for one thing. So this time, I'm not screwing around. With Craig is here to play the game against other strong artists, and he chose to go head to head with me. I definitely feel the heat because you're a rad tattooer. Yeah, I wasn't going for anybody easy. You've been killing it. <laughs> Thank you. Huge mistake going up against me. I'm tattooing a bold, bright, traditional tattoo on this guy's knee ditch to knock Craig out. Oh, yeah. Today, you had to use ingenuity to come up with a clever way to transform your canvas's body part. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist. One of you will win and one of you will lose. Craig, you went head to head with Katie. In the bends of the knee, the skin is very soft. It's very delicate. I think you did a great job applying this tattoo. The way it's placed on here, when her leg's straight, it looks great. When her leg's bent, it looks great. It's just a really smooth, slick tattoo. Katie. Overall, I think you did hit the challenge. The only design element that I don't really love is the shape of the tongue. It looks like these could be cherries, but the shading, the color, it's all strong. It's a fun, cool tattoo. All right, guys, between Craig and Katie, who took this one? Man, Craig's is so slick and smooth. Go with Craig. I'm going with Craig. Craig got this one. The judges have decided the winner of this head-to-head -head battle is Craig. Today, you had to use ingenuity to create an illusion on your canvas's skin. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Katie, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I'm proud of the tattoo. I feel like it's really clean. I stand by it for sure. They didn't like the tongue and they didn't like the lack of detail. I can kind of agree on the tongue. It's just the style, man. Some people aren't into traditional kind of imagery, so I think if the others didn't like it, what you heard. All right, Danny, thank you. <sighs> Katie, obviously you've got to please the public, so anytime you do something that's kind of hard to understand, you run that risk. You could have had a lot cooler tongue in there and even made this thing even better. Lesson learned. Today, you must use ingenuity to create mashup tattoos. With two completely opposing styles, you must use ingenuity to weave these styles together in a way that makes sense and creates a cohesive design. This is gonna get wild. There are a lot of styles in tattooing that are really similar, and making sure that those are distinctly different while you're trying to make that one cohesive tattoo is gonna be really hard. Don't make a yard sale of tattoos. Just do enough to show off and to win. My life, I'm nervous. 
Need anything, Katie? I gotta work on this still. It's a real skull right there. The references are so dope. I've got my hands full. I got shots fired on me. Make sure there's just a thin line outside the nose. Lucky for me, my coach is really good with skulls. He's trying to help me get through this because he knows that I'm going through a tug of war in my head and I'm losing my mind. Today, you had to think outside of the box to create mashup tattoos. Katie. The mixing of styles is definitely there, but the legibility of the skulls in the center, they're a little too busy and a little too muddy to really stand out and be strong. It does take away from the optical illusion of it being that three sides, your process got away from you. Today, you had to create mashup tattoos. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Katie, the reason you're down here is technical application. You've got to be more precise. You've got to get it clean. You've got to get it solid. I worked my ass off to even be here. I gave up a lot of time with my daughter. I'm a young mom, I'm 25. I have a six-year-old at home. I came from nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I stand behind Katie. She did not have the worst in the room. Teammate or no teammate, my team knows integrity to me is the most, and I won't let people stay around that suck. I'm gonna fight for my team. That's well, just me as a coach. you fight your way, bro. You do your thing. I'm talking about me. Okay, you're always talking about you. If you as good as me, you would too. Wait till the finale, bro. You're about to get sniped out You're gonna quick. have to wait. Eat you up, spit you out, like a purple Jolly Rancher, mother It's time for the judges to decide who is going home. The challenge of the day being a cohesive design with different styles. I think Katie hit it the best. For me, Katie's safe. Would you agree with that, Chris? Safe. And today, you must tattoo whatever your canvas wants in some of the most difficult places. Oh, no. From heads and necks to armpits and butts, it will take creativity to design a tattoo that fits the body part perfectly. I don't want to touch a butt. Jimmy. What's up, brother? Food dog on his elbow. Stacy. I don't know what a food dog is, but that thing was aimed right for my face. Food dog to the face. TJ. Light, light, light. Feather it, feather it to nothing. How high can I take it before they're like, that's too much? I wouldn't go crazy high. My biggest issue right now is the fact that my raven skull is like a flaming raven skull. You gotta either feather it out to nothing or do something to give it a little woof woof. Yeah, that's why I just stopped it right there. Feathering out, all I did was just make the tattoo uneven looking. Spend your last little bit just cleaning up that background, making it purposeful. I'm gonna beat my ass for this background. Today, you are being tested on creativity, tattooing difficult body parts. TJ. What's up, fellas? This one is just tough to read, man. What are we looking at here? It's a three-eyed raven skull. I think on a gothic ice cream cone day, nailed it. The challenge was creativity and the placement. I put it on the knee and it's creative. The background up top, not a fan of. It's not making any kind of sense or anything. I was gonna like kind of wisp it through from the top and kind of wisp it down through the bottom. In that last ditch effort, man, I think you screwed yourself. Stacy. The more you look at this tattoo, the more confusing it gets. If you look at this top, that looks like feathers. It's not supposed to be realistic. It's definitely more illustrated. We just also noticed that not only are the fangs coming from the lips, but there are five teeth in between them. It's got a center tooth on the top and the bottom. It's an illustration. Even if you're illustrating, anatomy counts. You can't have a muzzle that looks like a hot dog bun and say, it's an illustration. All right, come out here. Bye. Jimmy. What's up? It's a smart play because it's nothing symmetrical. The shape of the tortoise shell on the kneecap is what lends itself to making this a good design. The tortoise shell is not perfect. It can sit awkwardly on that ball of the kneecap. That's the part where placement is a smart play here. It's a cute little tattoo, man. Today, you had to prove your creativity. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. I was going strictly off creativity. My tattoo is a lot stronger than mimicking a frog. JP's got a hard to read frog, but everybody's going to know it's a frog. There's going to be people that still don't understand that this is a skull. Of the three up there, I think the bottom half of TJ's is the best <laughs> tattoo in it. The top half is just beat. A cathedral on a kneecap, there's no way to win. It's waving everywhere. You set yourself up for this moment. For today's challenge, you must tattoo neo-traditional animals. I'm scared. <laughs> I love animals. They're so cute. Neo-traditional, I'm just gonna jump off a bridge. So it's the panther. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cam. 
Dun, dun, dun. Not at all surprised by this one. You know, the women's team knew that I could handle any of these designs, so they defaulted to a difficult placement. They're gonna have to try way harder than that to trip me up. People act like they're all cool with you, and they turn around and then take the first opportunity to make your life a hell of a lot harder. I definitely got the hardest skull pick today. This is starting to feel a lot more like a personal attack. I was just really hoping it would take more than 33 seconds to have this massive ass target on my back. You don't have a target on your back, you're not trying hard enough. I've really been working mainly with black and gray, but I'm totally capable of putting in color. If something looks patchy, but it's overworked, just leave it. It's I like, wouldn't overwork I, it. I don't, there's some spots that I see already that are kind of questionable. I always feel like everyone here is dead set on me failing. Yeah. Seriously, man, good job. You killed it. I'm just here to look pretty. Cam's wasn't that good. I thought you guys gave him a panther. It's not a panther? It's not a panther. What is it? It's like a wolf. It's a wolf panther. It's a wanther. Yeah, it's a wanther. No matter what they say about it, you earn this shit. That's a winner right there. He pretends like it doesn't bother him. Like, oh, cool, I wanted that one. He didn't want that one. And that's what pisses me off. Like, just be real. Today, you had to demonstrate contrast by tattooing a neo-traditional animal. Cam. You're not doing neo-traditional, shading the tongue, four different shades. No, man, solid red. It's a kneecap. You want it to last. Black Panther needs black. Where's the black? It doesn't have power. You just have a weak presence. You want to win? Reach for that bottle of black. 